Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Puzzles by Lisa on Instagram and I have a beautiful Ravensburger collection and I'm showing it on different videos so if you're not familiar with the videos you can check the other ones and they, I even have a list of all of them, the collections. And today we're going to cover a bunch of sweet puzzles. We're going to look at puzzles of sweets, chocolate, um, cakes, cupcakes, anything like that basically. Um, so here we are, we have a lot of puzzles to cover, so we'll try to go through all of them. And here we go. So I guess this is the first one. It's called Sugary Sweet Cupcakes and it's by Ruth Black from 2015. Beautiful puzzle, quite the unicorn, um, super fun to do, highly recommended. Very hard to get, unfortunately. Um, sugary sweet cupcakes, very colorful. I love doing that one. It's not even too bad, even though there is lots of green around it. The next one is a 300 piece, uh, and that one is called Chocolate Overload, and it's by Michael Cyril from 2013. As you can see, lots of chocolate and a lot of like fun stuff and fruit in it. Really, really beautiful. I actually haven't done that so far because I just got it like two days ago. Um, so it's fun to find a puzzle that I didn't have that is nice. The next one here is called Kittens and Cupcakes and it's by Greg Cuddyford from 2016. Uh, if you're not familiar with Greg Cuddyford, he's doing a lot of different cute animal puzzles. He has quite a few with Ravensburger. Um, and here you can see the cupcakes here and here and the kittens. So it's very, very great puzzle for somebody that likes both cats and cupcakes. Um, I got it from Germany. It's kind of hard to get, but definitely worth it. Uh, this one is called Tea Party by Rachel Perry from 2012. Um, it's a really nice puzzle. Lots of cookies inside. Hopefully you can see them here. Lots of teapots and other things like that. Uh, really sweet puzzle from 2012. And Amy Stewart. Uh, we have here the Sweet Shop from 2015. That's not the last puzzle by Amy Stewart that I'm going to show you in that video. But that sweet shop is super cute. I actually did this puzzle when I was in a hotel in the Bay Area. And that wasn't easy because hotels have pretty terrible lighting. Um, so my photo is not the best of like this puzzle when it's done. And I will probably do it again because it deserves a better photo from my perspective. Um, so as I said, in Amy Stewart, the first one that we see for today. Next one is called Vintage Tea Party, and this puzzle is from Whirly Twirly from 2019. Super cute puzzle, very sweet and tasty macarons. Uh, so if you like those, that's a good reason to do this puzzle, in addition to the fact that it's really beautiful and cute. Um, really highly recommend it. Next one has a cat in it as well. It's called The Cat uh, That Got the Cream by Steve Reed from 2020. I'm talking about Steve Reed almost in every video. Steve Reed is very well known for his My Haven, which we'll see one of them here because he has one with cakes. Uh, but he has a lot of stuff that's very beautiful with animals as well, and here is one of it. So you can see here, cats. I don't know if it's healthy for them, actually, all of this ice cream, but... Uh, Hopefully, they didn't eat all of that stuff. And this one is a beautiful one called Sweet Temptation by Getty Images from 2021. And you can see here there is cupcakes and donuts and a lot of other sweets. Really, really cute. Pretty easy puzzle because of the collage uh, and frames and stuff around it. Uh, I really enjoyed doing it again. My careers, we have some macaroons here. Um, really fun. And 
And the next one we see is The Waitress. And that's from um, the Happy Days at Work series. It's number 16. That is not the only one that's related to food. The Baker is also related to food. I guess the Milkman is related to drinks. Uh, but this is the only one that have cakes in it. And again, you can see the cakes just right here. Uh, this is still easy to get because it is... Uh, Trevor Mitchell did that one in 2019. So I believe you should still be able to get that one. Uh, there are 19 total in the series, and I will hopefully show that series in another video. Rare and hard to get. Uh, that one is called Afternoon Tea by Tim Hill. Uh, the year is not actually no known because it doesn't say anywhere on the box what the year is. But as you can see, there is a cake, and there is some other cakes and cookies. And really stuff that looks tasty. Um, so again, hard to get. I don't know what the art is on, but Tim Hill, I that's the only puzzle that I know of that he did. And to make it super fun, Jolini 300 piece. Uh, so we have Jolini, it's called Birthday Party from 2014 by Jorg Zardanichek, who did all the Jolinis. And of course, his birthday cake has to be in the birthday. Uh, so we have here one Jolini today, the first one, but we'll see another one later on. And then here is the next Amy Stewart. This one is called Donut Disturb, and it's from 2021. That was fun. Made me really want a donut. I did get a donut a few days after that because of it. Uh, as you can see... Lots of sweets, super tasty, looks beautiful like Amy Stewart uh, does all the time. Uh, so this is the second Amy Stewart that you see in this video. Again, easy to get because it's 2021. If you didn't get it, really consider that. And then why not? Another Amy Stewart. Uh, so this one is called tea time treats and it's actually two puzzles of 500 pieces and it's quite similar to another puzzle that we'll see in a moment in the 1000 uh, department um that one is from 2015 and hopefully you can see the two puzzles like really closely here uh it's really really hard to get i got it from the uk um and i think that is completing like the amy stewart series maybe you didn't know that it actually exists Okay, so uh, another Jolini that we're going to look at is Breakfast Coffee, again, by Jorg Zajardanicek from 2010. I sold that one, so you can see only its photo instead of seeing the whole puzzle. Uh, but definitely, again, Jolini, super cute. You can see all the cute stuff that's going on there. Uh, I love Jolini. They are going really quickly. I think that if you get to know Jolini well, you can very easily start identifying noses and ears. Those are actually like the most uh, interesting features in a Jolini puzzle when you do it. And it makes even a 2000 Jolini actually be not too difficult. Uh, so I definitely highly recommend to do Jolini if you haven't tried that. Even if you think, oh, what is, what is everybody like so excited about? I wasn't excited about Jolini until I did my second one and then I fell in love. So maybe you should try it. Uh, the next one is another one that I sold. It's called Macaroons. It's uh, three times 500 and it's by Howard Shooter, which we're going to see actually other puzzles by him as well uh, today uh, from 2014. And uh, this macaroon trio is just beautiful. Uh, super fun to do. The only hard part is the pink uh, frame around uh, the each puzzle, but definitely beautiful. And... Uh, another one that we are going to talk about before we go to the 1000 and above is uh, one that's called Corner Bakery. It's a 750 piece puzzle. It's by Elisa Della Pian Piana from 2021. I've done it. I've sold it, so I don't have it anymore. Uh, but you can see how much of this beautiful puzzle, uh, how, does, how it looks like. And again, I think it's probably kind of easy to get because it's 2021. You should be able to get it if you want it. 750, there are not lots of puzzles from that size, 
but each one that exists in my opinion is quite amazing and actually Ravensburg is creating a life four more of them I think in 2022 so if you didn't try 750 it's really giant because the pieces are really really big but it's really fun to do and good break from like looking at small pieces so we're continuing from here straight to this one and this one is called sweet temptation uh with the gloss effect it's basically by stock food or linda burgess from 2015 Gloss effect just means that everything is gloss. I'll actually attach a few photos of gloss effect puzzles that are done at the end. I haven't done this one, but as you could see, it's really fun. Lots of chocolate. Uh, so if you feel like food, if you like chocolate, there is actually lots of really good stuff from Ravensburger. But as I said, now you can see all of them and just decide for yourself which one you want to do. So this is a gloss effect that I did do. It's called Pretty Cupcakes. It's by Howard Shooter, which I actually mentioned earlier, 2012. Uh, this is lots of cupcakes. It's actually, he has one with spices, if you like that type of puzzles. And the cupcakes themselves are not hard to do, but the pink stuff around it is a little bit harder to do. Um, not the end of the world harder. And the gloss effect is definitely interesting. Um, it's always making it a bit more tricky to take a photo of the puzzle, but it's nice kind of like to touch when you're doing that. Next one is extremely rare puzzle. Uh, it's called Ship World Cupcakes and it's of course from 2016. Uh, if you're not familiar with Ship World, I will do at some point a full video on Ship World. Uh, they are cute chip. As you can see, very known in Germany. Almost always not actually in here. They actually have uh, stuff written in German on the puzzles. So the puzzles are not always easy because there is lots of text and a lot of white. But this one is easier than the other ones and very, very rare. It took me forever to get it. Uh, but I did get it. So maybe you can get it too. Well, one that's tough death by chocolate uh and that one is by mauritius images from 2009 just look at that pretty hell right uh i guess the easier pieces are gonna be that i haven't done it yet i do have to admit uh but it is really beautiful it is looking really difficult Another difficult, interesting one. This one is called Candy Overload, and it's by Rachel Perry from 2013. Look at that. Everything is the same color. Everything is the same color. Even those stripes are quite the same color. Um, 2013 for brave people only. And Amy Stewart, The Candy Shop from 2016. I told you we we're going to see a few Amy Stewart today. So I think that's the last one we're actually going to see by her today. Uh, this is a very, uh, very like wanted puzzle. A lot of people want it. It's not easy to get. Uh, as you saw, there is a 2 times 500, which is kind of like the brothers and sisters of this puzzle. They're pretty much uh, re reminding of that one. Lots of cute details. Very pink. Not too hard to do, not too easy to do. Perfect, pretty much. Well, that doesn't look like you want to eat it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this one is called Ice Cream for Ice Cream, and it's from the Food, Por Food Porn Collection, which I might do a video for by David Traub. Debbie has done a bunch of puzzles from that series for Ravensburger, and that one is from 2020. And it actually like is very hard. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't look very hard, but it is very hard because the picture itself is actually more blurry than what you see here. So it's really not easy. And I would say that I really was thinking, should I include that in this video or not? Because these do not look like tasty ice cream at this point. Um, but it's ice cream, so it's here. Uh, another one that's beautiful is called the uh, the afternoon visitor by Steve Reed from 2015 
lots of cakes, lots of cakes. Uh, if you look at the box, my box is not really great. I had this puzzle and I sold it and then I bought it again. And the box was damaged through the delivery from the UK. Um, the puzzle itself is intact and it's great, but the box is not exactly in the best shape. But it happens. So Steve Reed, one of those that are actually harder to get. Again, it's the same Steve Reed that he's doing all the My Haven. That could easily fall into the one of My Havens. See that there is a window in the door and the, the, the things that he has in a lot of those. But this one is not part of any of those series. And next we have Baker's Cottage, uh, Country Cottage number 14 by Howard Robinson from 2021. I'll show you really close the table with the cakes because that's actually what's making it the Baker's Cottage. For the most part, it's one of the Country Cottage collection. Um, so most of them are quite more about the buildings and the flowers around it. But here there is bakery stuff. So I said I have to show it to you. And last in this specific pile is Sweet Cake Pops by Andrea Tilk from 2013. Uh, this one is not an easy puzzle because a lot of the colors are quite the same. It's not very colorful like some of the cupcakes or macaroons that we've seen before. Uh, I've done it, of course. Um, I enjoyed it, but I enjoyed some other Andrea Tilk a bit more. And I'll show you some more Andrea Tilk uh, in the last pile that we have to go through. Uh, so you can judge for yourselves like which one you would like better this one or others that we're gonna see but Andra Tilk is is genius in my opinion I love her art it's like just so beautiful so uh, another amazing artist is Ute Nan uh, which did this latte macchiato in 2012 you can see the chocolate here that's why I included it because uh, there is like a bunch of chocolate stuff and of course some cookie. Um, I really enjoyed that puzzle. It's not very colorful, so it's not exactly easy, but latte macchiato, I feel like coffee. There are a few coffee puzzles. We we're gonna see another one today, even. Um, fun to do, not easy to get. Germany, a place to get all puzzles. Craziness. So this one is called Coco Crazy, and it's by Karen Romanko from 2017, and, well, it's easier than Death by Chocolate, I would say, but probably not that easy. Um, really beautiful pink piece. I will remind all of you that means that it's not soft click, but it's still great technology, just a bit older, and uh, in basically 20... Um, That's 1999, sorry. So in 1999, the technology of the software did not exist. That's why it's all technology. And another Steve Reed I promised you earlier. So this one is called The Cake Shed. It's My Haven number five, Steve Reed, 2018. Uh, I've done a video on this My Haven collection. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend to go see it. Look at those cakes, so beautiful. I have to do that really soon because this puzzle is just amazing. And I just was distracted with so many other puzzles that I've been doing, but this one definitely should go in my very soon to do pile. Okay, we go to higher numbers. So this is a 1500 coffee and cake by Getty Images 2017. You can see coffee, you can see cake, uh, definitely a puzzle that's not too bad. Uh, really, really fun to do. Um, it actually reminds of some of the artists, but basically it's like just a collection of getting images. Next one is one more Jellini and the last one for today. It's called Jellini's Christmas Bakery and it's by Jorg Zardanichek. And this one is from 2021. And it wasn't super easy, but it's a Giolini, so at least like some of it is really easy. As I said, you can figure out where the ears and the nose and everything else when you actually get to 
no the Giulini. The other parts here are not super easy because it's like lots of the same color and it's 1500 pieces. But definitely do it. Fun stuff. Cupcakes. That's the name. Utenan. Uh, Utenan does uh, a lot of puzzles that are quite uh, more of like a structured organized collages this one is from 2013 i enjoyed every single moment of it uh, maybe the harder parts would be to put together like that uh pink or this pink uh but really it wasn't something that i can say that was difficult like i definitely enjoyed it a lot and then we have the ice cream shop you can see it's new but i actually did mine and sold it and bought it again um, and this one is by Gary Walton. And if you don't know Gary Walton, he did this one in 2018, but he has right now a few more puzzles. So Antikin's Curiosities is one, and he did Traveling Light, if you haven't seen the, from the new 2000 pieces, uh, which I'm going to show that at some point soon. Um, and this one was fun. So many tastes of ice cream. Uh, really, really amazing. And even you have a cake here. Uh, uh, on the chair, or maybe that's just the chair pillow. I don't know. Uh, I, it drove me crazy when I did it because I don't look at the box. I didn't know what that was and figured out in the end that it's on the chair. So I showed a few Howard Shooter before. This one is just called Sweets. It's from 2015. Very rare puzzle. Very, very hard to get. Lots of sweets. Howard Shooter is a photographer of food. So he has, again, spices, cupcakes, whatever you can think of. He does sometimes stuff that's not food, but almost all of it is food. This one's super hard to get. Very beautiful. Very tasty. If you can get it, it's great. Okay, again, we're back to the crazy chocolate stuff. This was, uh, this is called Chocolate Paradise. And it's by Getty Images in 2021. You need to be brave to do it. I'm not brave, I guess, because I haven't done it yet, but I will. Uh, and this one is, is definitely looks much easier than the Death by Chocolate that we've seen earlier. But it's also 2,000 pieces, so I guess, like, it's going to take some time to get it done. And we're going to finish by one that's called Coffee Break by Andra Tillich from 2013. Um, I told you earlier, I love Andra Tillich. See the very organized collages. We've seen that also with Ute Nan, but I, I think both of them are just amazing. Uh, so here you can see a bunch of like different sweet things coming with the coffee. Uh, but basically, really, really amazing puzzle. And... It wasn't super easy because a lot of that is very brownish, but I definitely enjoyed that one and I would be happy to do it again and again at some point in the future. Uh, it's not, it's not like, it's really kind of a jewel puzzle. Really amazing. Okay, so I guess that was it for today. If you didn't get your sugar like going up, Maybe you want to go get yourself some cookie or cake or donut or something. Um, I I mean, those can get you probably hungry. Um, well, thank you for watching. Please go to Puzzles by Lisa on Instagram. Please subscribe to my channel down here and tell me what other videos you want to see. I have a few more in mind, of course, but... Always happy to try to get what you want inside there too. Um, so again, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And if you stay for a minute or two, you'll be able to see the puzzles that I have completed or at least some of them. Uh, I always try to put them at the end of the video so you can take a closer look on the puzzles and also see how they actually look when they're all of the pieces are together, not just the, um, the box. Well, have a good day. Bye-bye.